What's going on, everybody? Doc here, I'm Scream Guys, back again. More free to play. Last day on Earth. So, we've got some updates, and we've got, hopefully, a good episode here for you today. Uh, the last episode, we headed to the bunker for the first time. And uh, since then, we have been doing a handful of things. So, what I want to do in this episode, just to give you a heads up, we'll see how we progress but all of our locations have reset. So I would really like to go. We're going to start off with the farm today. We are looking to finish the chopper. We're looking to make the first major movement here uh, in terms of the storyline and in terms of progression. If you've been following along, you know that all we need is a chopper gas tank. So we're going to give the farm a go. Uh, we've got some gear ready and set up to go and do that. I'm going to give you a quick base overview on what we've been grinding. We are finishing or nearing the end of the supply event and the season. So we're going to grab some season rewards because I don't believe we will get to level 59. But we'll do this at the end to see how far we can progress. We're going to try to get one more good supply run in here. And we'll see how many points we can get with that. But we've been able to ground out a few good rewards. And honestly, we have just been utilizing our energy and our time to head into and back and forth from the red zone here uh, to get a ton of iron and to get a ton of stone and basic supplies as well as some upper end materials as well that I think are really going to help us on our journey here. So we're going to try to get the farm done. We might bump over to the motel and we might jump over into the bunker as well. Uh, because again, we're going to really hunt for that, uh, that chopper gas tank. So we're rocking our fun armor, but here's what we got set up at least for, uh, the farm to get going. We're going to bring a spare set of armor. I'm not sure how this, uh, holiday Christmas set is going to last. We've got some good weapons with us, a couple of guns. And, uh, one thing we have been doing is actually working to, to cook our food, uh, and to get some good heals from that perspective. We're going to bring some bandages as well, because I'm going to try to knock these locations out pretty quickly just so we can get through them and hopefully get to the rewards. So the other thing I've, I've been talking about again, was we've been really focused on trying to knock out uh, and just set ourselves up for success with a lot of different supplies. So uh, things like leather here have been really important. We've stocked up uh, to make sure that we can get a ton of carrots. We've been trying to utilize our dogs here as much as necessary or as much as we can. And we've also been grinding, again, basically every food that we can get here. So I'm just going to jump into our crates. We're doing really well from a food perspective. And again, I'm going to focus on doing these to use them from kind of like a heels perspective. We stacked up a lot of meat, which has been really, really good. Um, we're going to use this again for the dogs. We're going to use this to cook the steaks and to get the jerky as well. So we can try to capitalize on that. And then from a heels perspective, we're starting to stack up some decent bandages and some first aid kits. We're really trying to reserve these for a little bit later on when we need them. And uh, we can go do some more, you know, serious runs, if you will, hardcore, things like that, or, or hard mode for the bunkers and stuff like that. We've also been stockpiling a bunch of seeds. Again, you could tell that we're really making some good progress. We've been able to pick up just a couple of guns. I think maybe the shotgun is new, uh, maybe one other from the red zone. So that's been pretty nice. Obviously, we're going to be using a few here for the farm. We've been doing a pretty good job of maintaining here in terms of our melee weapons which is nice we have dropped our military backpack off and you might have caught it we are using the tactical backpack we are using one we have one more in the uh the inventory that uh, we'll hang on to again you can see we've been grinding we've been grinding some basic resources we've got a lot of steel not steel we got a lot of iron iron plates we got a lot of iron ore that we're working to smelt down we're doing okay from an armor perspective. We're trying to be smart with this. We've been able to stack up some nice reinforced armor, uh, which is just a tier below here, tactical armor, which has been good. And uh, again, we've been doing some things. We've made every fish recipe up to this point that we can. We're missing corn and a few different types of fishes to be able to finish a handful of these out. But we've got some good recipes built here uh, to take advantage of that as well. And I need to hit more fishing locations to get some more so we've also been grinding down our recycler making actually some pretty decent process progress in a lot of these um, just to try to get some better rewards and make sure that we're having everything run here at the same time so again stockpiling things like leather uh, and trying to get more thick fabric for armors that we're building same thing here some more basic supplies but we're using a lot of those and uh, again from a base overview perspective we'll just go ahead and show you that uh, we're doing pretty good you didn't catch we made it to in the bunker we got the acid bath so we've dropped that down 
we made a little bit of improvement to our floors as well and we are starting to upgrade a ton of our uh, our chests to the next level just for storage capabilities so uh, we've been really dropping in some resources there again doing good from a wood and from a pine perspective and we're starting to get a good stockpile here uh, of stone and of uh, stone bricks which has also been quite nice so got a handful of other things well we'll definitely head back here if we uh if we make our way over to the bunker we've got a little disassembly pile here going the division box has been huge for us we've gotten a ton of scrap metal which is nice and really starting to stack up some bolts some rubber parts and a handful of other things so the one thing that we are desperate for and hopefully we can get here uh in decent quantities is adhesive we use a lot of this for armors uh so we're going to be on the lookout for that quite a bit but tape um you know again we're doing we're doing pretty good i feel like for where we're at we're sitting at level 85 we've got a nice experience boost uh to jump into and uh we're gonna head over to the farm let's see what we get we've got 108 percent bonus on the experience so this should be a pretty good opportunity for us to make some oh no oh both locations well, we're definitely gonna have to save some energy to go over to the convoy so we'll try to do this here farm real quickly and i'm really i am hoping i am actually hoping uh that we can find a chopper gas tank our luck would be insane if we were able to do that but um we're gonna hope for it we're gonna push for it i will be excited to see you know what we're able to do after that this is going to be a really big milestone um, i also recognize there's a chance this takes us a bit to get right the one thing that i have also been hoping for uh that i have not quite seen yet is um the burglar skill we've gotten some pretty decent upgrades and updates um from a few different perspectives uh on skills wise we actually once we get the chopper we're going to be pretty efficient um so i'm, I'm actually quite excited about that um but uh yeah we are take the one hit from him um but yeah i we we uh i think we've maxed out the uh this ooh, nice yellow coupon we need those i didn't showcase those but we've done really good uh the red zones for yellow and red coupons we've gotten a nice handful of those I'm actually excited for that too. I think these are Raiders, which is actually better for us. I'm not sure if this is going to break or not, but. All right, we took down the right one, which is nice. Finished them off. Oh, and of course, we've got some of these guys. So I think cooked food and cooked steaks was definitely the way to go here. It'll save us some bandages. Again, we're just trying to really kind of plow through this as quickly as we can. Torch isn't bad. Why, why two torches? I would have really liked... I would have really liked game if we could have gotten, you know, maybe the actual weapons they were using. That would have been wonderful. Um... Yeah, but I'm excited to see what we can do. And we've done, like I said, we've done a nice job, I think, of just grinding those those tough locations, the red locations for some solid supplies, uh, as well as just a good opportunity to, um, you know, find a handful of guns and a few other things that we need. So uh, I'll take the hit. Totally fine. Totally fine. Was there any? Yeah, there's these. Utilize these to heal up a little bit. I think if we pull this guy, we can sneak attack these other two. Um, I have been using a ton of crowbars. They have definitely turned into an MVP for us. So I am happy with... Uh, happy with those i should use the saw blade mace here but we'll just pop him does this do 21 basic damage it does nice still worth the hit there to save a little bit of durability 
All right, that was inefficient at best. And now we have to run. You silly rotten yokels. They lost their shoes. No, my shoes. There we go. Nice. All right. We're going to go up onto the bandages, I think. I'm just going to wait until this totally burns down in terms of armor durability. Again, you can probably tell I'm still fighting a little bit of sickness. Hopefully my voice isn't too bad. I definitely feel much better. Uh, than I have here in the recent past. So that part is nice. All right, let's uh, go get in behind this dude. Sneak attack him. Try to pull the Ravager over. We can stick attack this guy. All right, we'll get some uh, rotten yokels here. And a fast biter, I think. Or are they all rottens? I'm not sure. I'm looking forward to a new season here. I'm looking forward to an opportunity to grind and get some additional rewards and do a few events that we haven't had an opportunity to do yet on this account um i'm actually really happy with our season progress too in terms of where we were able to make it i feel like we did pretty good i really do i feel like we did pretty dang decent in terms of how far we were able to get um and i think we have some nice rewards um so one thing i think i talked about maybe in a previous episode but i'll i'll jump into it again is that I want to try to avoid using that stuff. I'm going to call it during the course of the season. Now, some of it may be required. We want to clear certain locations or do a certain few handful of things. Um, but my thought process around that is to save them um, so that maybe when we get to a new season and get fresh, we can kind of use that gear to snowball, if you will, um, into other things. That's my hope. We'll see if that ends up coming to fruition or not. Uh, but that's at least what I'm hoping to be able to do. Easy peasy. Cargo value up. Very nice. Machetes is one thing that I want to start creating more of, too. Um, they just are a pretty big drain at this point on supplies. And so I think the, the trade-off I've been doing here is crowbars I've been using, like I said, quite a bit. They have a great attack speed. Uh, but also, um, they are not a huge drain um, or as big of a drain as other things can be. On our supplies and uh, when we're hitting the um, the redstone location we're actually having really good sack success finding um, enough iron and enough leather uh, really more so than we were finding to make that worth it um, and that again was a nice uh, I'll say a nice trade-off right that's the important thing and something I've talked about a lot in the series is this just that um, this is you know, for us, this is going to be a resource trade, right? We're trading resources right now to try to find the more important and valuable thing, which is the chopper tank. And um, again, I think that makes sense for us to be able to do. And I think that's a good way of looking at progression in this game because um, you're always farming. You're always farming for resources. You're always trying to get the next best thing. And uh, that's a good way to go about it. That's how we're going to treat it 
be able to do that. And and again, obviously be smart with our resources as well. Okay, so this makes me a little nervous. I don't know. Yeah, this is why this makes me nervous. Gosh, there's just so many enemies here. We're gonna end up burning our armor, which is totally fine. We brought the spare set just for this purpose. All right, there we go. Take that guy out. Now we're down just just these two dudes. Sometimes I feel like the big guys move faster than than I feel like they should sometimes. All right, swap into this. It's M16 essentially just has to get us enough. I'm not sure how many savage giants are left. There we go. Nicely done. Took no damage from the big guys, which is always a good thing. Alright, so we cleared that, which is good. I'm going to drop a few supplies off here. Also going to go in here and just delete this again. Talked about this previously. But it's just like, it's just something I do that just makes moving through the locations and picking stuff up, I think, much, much easier. Well, these guys are spread out enough that it's not ideal. That's not what I wanted to have happen. How about you stop, you know? How about you stop hitting me? It's not very nice. Where are we going? I am trying to get more bandages. A bandage for you and a bandage for you. We'll use one of these. We're getting close to a level up, but probably not close enough. We should be good with this. Nice. All right, this is actually a good clearance for us because we're going to basically be able to sneak just about everything. Sneak this guy. Then we'll be able to sneak this guy back here and should save quite a bit of weapon, quite a bit of gun durability, and also not get hit. We didn't technically need to clear that, um, but we did since we're going to open the farm chest, so... We should be good to go here. Got the key. There's a little of a adhesive. I love to see that. Like I said, that's one of the big things. One of the big, big things that we are desperately missing. Uh, just in good quantities. Because you use it so much to upgrade armor. And uh, that's kind of important for us at the moment. We've got to capitalize on our armor. We got Sir Puppy. We got Sir Farm Chest. That was a somewhat timely level up. You have to be very careful here. I do not want to get accidentally popped by the big guy. How about you leave me alone? Oh, we kept our M16. So this is good because we are going to be able to break these two things down back at the base. Um, it might not seem hugely important, but that is a great way for us to continue to kind of grind that up as well. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, so we actually got an oak handle. 
Um, this is nice. This is really nice for us. Um, if we can put this together, because we use the sledgehammers quite a bit. Good set of armor here. We have the boost here. So we're going to get the extra 108% experience. You can see down here, 108% experience. We're going to actually get it applied to this diary, which is really nice. Look at that. That was a huge chunk right there. You know, and I feel like we got to take glutton. I'll take four additional percent of health um, since we're starting to focus on that. Got some engine parts and a few other decent things. Got a nice shotgun here. Got a got a cleaver with some mods on it, which is nice. Um, engine parts and a handful of these things are, are pretty good. Pretty dang good. I'm very happy with this. This is a nice, nice little loot haul here. All right, now, peace. The resistance. Do we get the chopper tire? I'm going to let you 10 seconds. Write down in the comments below. Are we getting the chopper tire? All right. I think your 10 seconds are up. Come on, baby. Give it to us. Now, chopper fork. Dang you. Dang you. All right, we'll be back for these. We'll be back for this. All right, we're going to run through. Let's grab again whatever else we can here. A good set of armor. We'll be back. We'll make the trip back to make sure that we can grab all this stuff. Could make one more bandage. I'm going to jump into the, each of the respective little chests here and just scoop up anything else that we can on our way out and uh, i think we need to head i really wanted to do motel um to get some progress but i think i think i think i think i think i don't need the beer we'll take this though i think it probably makes sense for us to actually go and do the uh do the uh do the convoy see if we can get another finger It'd be really nice be good for us so we're gonna head back we're gonna jump over there and we'll see when we get there all right we're at the convoy we have it here and we made it i'm going to swap into this Bonk. so here's the cool part um we need to get the last 200 or so points out of the uh out of the supply event because whoops we have a glock as the reward i would love to get there to be able to get that and i think we should have a good opportunity to do that here play this smart we just be smart again guys should give some pretty solid points whoa barely dodged that that was really close sneak this guy without alerting both of these guys no. the answer to that question was no but what it is gonna let us do sneak this guy A quick work of him. We're over to this dude. I'm telling you, the crowbar. So good. Oh, that was a mistake. Oops. Well, oh. got to use the saw blade mace up eventually, I guess. So why not with dropping that dude? Okay. Now these rewards, we have to take everything. Well, we don't have to take everything. Be ideal if we could take everything all in one go we'll get all this stuff sorted and then we will uh we'll see if we can have the space grab whatever armor ends up popping up and hopefully a cut finger we haven't seen a finger in a minute um we do this this is one of those things supply drops these events as off as frequent and as often as we can um we're gonna hit these because the loot 
it has the upside of being quite good relatively easy to clear and uh and again the the bonus reward for this think about it is if you do get the cut finger um essentially every time you get a reset on your bunker alpha you're getting good going to go ahead and get uh, at least a glock probably some aluminum and some other decent supplies so almost always 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 worthwhile and we got a huge huge bump here with some adhesive too um and i guess i never really recognized or realized how rare <laughs> Uh, that was so we got one and a red coupon oh my gosh that's what I'm talking about that is what I'm freaking talking about right there how good is that that's huge for us I really I can't emphasize that enough that is absolutely huge for us bring this guy down I'll heal up a bit where are you going zombie Oh, Frenzy Giant. You're so slow and silly. This guy. So your roaming zombie friend. Have plenty of time to crack this open. It's always just like basic, basic materials. Not worth getting punched right there. That's okay. That's why we brought the carrots. Just grab a few things on our way out because we're going to run back home. Make the most use of this as we can. Berries over here. I like berries. Who doesn't like berries? Plus, I'm just going to tire this uh, frenzy giant out. It'd be kind of cool if that was a mechanic in the future for a zombie. You get like a runner zombie where they run around a lot. Maybe they're not, they're not like very vulnerable when they're at, uh, you know, when they're not tired. And then you can run them around and get them tired. And, and so again, we're going to just run from this to this. This is huge. Absolutely huge for us. These, again, supply drops are so good. The convoy, this convoy was wildly huge for us. We get the cut finger and we get a combat gear coupon. Um, that's so good. That's so, so good for us. Now we'll struggle a little bit to get all the supplies from this, depending on what they are. But there's some things we can get rid of. It's always good. I'm also going to go ahead and try to Take care of the zombies here. I need the points. Need the points. The supply points. I really... Pretty desperately want that Glock. That's uh, Glocks are so good. They're so good for us. They're such a good, solid weapon. The fact that you can fire it and every shot hits is so important. Love to get these animals too. We'll see what's in here to see if that makes sense to, to tackle these. Because again, leather is another hugely important material for us. All right, we can drop this. I can use this. We can grab this and this. Um... Bottles and paint, I'm not super high up on. Where did you come from, zombie? Get away from me. And we have plenty of rope. We have a lot of tape, too. This is one of those where it's like, huh. Eh. Honestly, I could get rid of... You could eat these up. Could hypothetically get rid of this and this. Let's see if we can't grab some meat and some skins, some fur here. There was quite a few deer, which is which is really nice. And hitting the red zone was also really good for us um, because you get a lot of rabid wolves as part of it. We're in a little, we're in a little battle here. Let's see who's going to win. Me, because I'm 
the best. It really wasn't worth fighting that guy. He just cost us some armor durability. And some weapon durability that we didn't... I mean, it's fine that we spent it, but... It also not spent it. That guy not spawned in. I feel like there's one other animal. Where where are you at? Maybe I missed you. Maybe we got them all. Maybe there's only three. Maybe it's being super elusive. I feel like this location's not that big. We should be able to see it. Okay. We're going to run home. We're going to drop some stuff off. I think we will queue up the bunker, uh, but maybe not complete it. Maybe we just see, maybe we can, I think we can grab some crates. So maybe we just go in there basically naked and uh, and grab our crates. So we'll, uh, we'll drop some stuff off and we'll head over to the bunker. Okay, we're jumping in here. We are extremely close, extremely close to a yellow crate. We've got enough. We actually have 20 additional coupons and we're only about seven red coupons off from a red crate as well. So I just figured we'd bring in these coupons. I'm going to grab what we can grab from these crates. I'm really kind of hopeful. Maybe we can go and can at least get the last two yellow coupons that we need. That would be super huge for us. Pop in, say hi to these guys. Does this guy let me trade in these coupons yet? I'm just curious. No, he just... Okay. We do still need to get the last... 100 and plus points, 170 points for supply. But we're also going to go ahead and use the cut finger here. And I think that's going to be the goal. So I don't think we'll grind through any full level, at least not here on the recording. But again, this, I'm telling you, this crate is really just really solid. Look at that copper bar, nice aluminum plate, good durability Glock. I'm taking it. I do wish the, the Glock was full, full durability, but not going to be upset. With what we got. I don't understand why these guys saw me. That's not very friendly. Yield up. Yellow coupon. Or I need yellow coupons. That was a green coupon. I, I am not colorblind. I promise. There's a good chance there's one in here. Yes, sir. Let's go. And there is a somewhat maybe reliable chance there's one in here. Of course, we're going to be one short. Well, we're going to gear up. We're going to try to go find this one. Lock, shovel, armor. What more do we need, boys and girls? What more do we need? To take this take this take this take these everything else can stay here for the moment don't think do not believe we'll need both clocks but you know it would be good to have yeah, we'll put that there just in case the crowbar runs out all right and let's head to head to floor three here head to floor three i think there's going to be better initial zombies battle arsenal no thanks that's an interesting pack though um this one's going to be interesting and probably better for us to try to also finish up supply just something that i want to do We pull them here. All right, not ideal. Ah. Need a yellow coupon, please. 
really like to get that crate. Get another chance at a chopper gas tank. Hundred and ten points. That was actually pretty good. I don't know if this is fast enough. Just try to tank this down, I think. Nothing from a coupon standpoint yet. Not ideal. All right, there's a trap. Usually toxic spitters are, say usually they're kind of good. Ah, man, we got two. There it is. Woo. All right. I think if we take these three spitters down, thinking this may just be enough. There's a level up, which is good. We needed that at some heals. Currently saving us. Oh, okay. And of course, though, those guys give me, give me the coop. I think it's going to be the toxic abomination that we need to kill here, but. Okay, that gave us what we needed here. Let's see if we can just run out. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, I we need better and different gear <laughs> to do this more efficiently. And uh, so I just really wanted to get to this here on the supply chain. We use some supplies to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, C4 is so good. We're gonna just hold out for the Glock. We're almost complete with this and uh, we need some more gear, but getting the Glock will be huge. That will be really, really nice for us. And uh, yeah, the other beautiful part here ends up being is uh, we pick up enough. We pick up one extra yellow ticket. Okay, come on. What do you have for us? A wheel. Uh, but we do get our first pattern, which is the bloater pattern. The other good part here is we get a nice set of military armor. We get two additional Glocks, which is huge. Grab the rest of this. Sort this up. We want to take the important things here. That's certainly important. That's certainly important. Not a big fan of the beer. That's probably also important. The rest of this we could live without. If we don't get it. We didn't get any food that we're swapping away. Um, nice. That was really, really good. I am uh, quite pleased with our kind of finish to the season here where we got for supply, what we've been able to do. Two crates, two misses on the chopper gas tank, which is um, not unexpected, I would say. Let me put all this stuff away really quick. Let's just let's get all those supplies up to the top. Uh, again, you could utilize this for some storage. You do have to be a little bit careful. This this location can reset. Uh, Kafir has been really good in the past about when it, if it is going to do that, letting people know because they do know people utilize those spots for storage. Um, so, but it is a good technique uh, just to uh, bring this stuff up to the top. And then as you have energy or time, you can do the runs back and forth. Uh, we're probably going to walk back from this perspective too. So just to keep that in mind for everybody, but we're going to drop the things we don't need. 
and then we'll drop these few things here and the rest of this stuff we are taking with us honestly the water bottles can stay i'm gonna grab the battery that all seems pretty good for us pretty good so as we're gonna walk back here um again happy with the progression i am very 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 excited for a very new season um to see i anticipate we're gonna have a lot of the same rewards is totally fine and um this is just going to be really good we actually did nice progress so we are getting into we have fully completed but we are getting into level 57 i do feel like with a full season some good opportunities with capitalizing on a few of the events that are coming up um i think we can actually do better we're going to hit wreck ship every day make sure to do that we may jump into commune um at least the first like first levels or two of each might not be bad and then uh, again that could be a good opportunity to get a little bit of early season progression so we'll look to do that um, obviously we're not going to head over to port lab uh, but blackport pd we'll see if we can do some stuff there at least clear some zombies maybe open some chests whatever these ends up being and uh 4500 experience would be nice if we could pick both of those up so um just hit this super super excited for a good glock and um yeah finishing up the season level 56 complete so i'm gonna go ahead and take all these look at this all look at all this stuff you can get with premium i you know i do i do consistently say that i think uh premium is worth it if you grind a lot if you are willing to spend some money i think this is the one thing that is probably worthwhile to do the fact you know you get tactical backpack we're talking rations we're talking a lot of stuff that you could spend quite a bit of money on if you were to buy it separately or really have to grind for um so do recommend that but here's what we got we got a katana we're gonna get six of these infinite packs which is nice we got another shotgun got some blueprints we're gonna go ahead and open those up here real fast if we oh we don't have space as soon as we can we'll do that engine parts an ak extremely rare rare blueprints we got a slasher we got a rare infant pack that's pretty cool we got, we got a freaking car battery swat armor we made it to the vss which i'm super super stoked for and some other good materials inside of that so take these thanks look at that we are stacking it up ladies and gentlemen okay um really quickly let's go ahead open up the rare pack hey we got the glock dude nice and a backpack the france backpack that's cool the fact that we got the glock out of this first one is super exciting we're gonna add these glocks up then we got six of these so we'll get each one of these uh rewards we'll see what else we get from the bottom here this will be good we'll get a nice military set of armor get some additional meds which is always good we get an extra glock which is always nice oh that was the rare pack right Duh, of course we're gonna get the rare backpack i'm so silly somebody in the comments is like dog you get it anyways dude look at that a bike style let's go wow that is cool all right let's grab our glock hey and a backpack style too we did really good from packs on this just a couple of cool things these are all cosmetics so not a big deal for us but that is cool to have some options that is neat i really want to open up these blueprints i don't have space to do that all right we'll use up our energy we'll do it we'll do it for everybody we'll walk back we will walk back doing this for you guys you gals out there to see what we get blueprints are really big and blueprints are really exciting and free to play with a new account because every blueprint we open even the common ones um we have got already gotten some duplicates but even the common ones are going to be worth it for us i'm really really excited about cracking these open so let's get some stuff put away here really quickly Boop. and we got a spare finger there excited about that we got some tickets you can see we are six we are six red coupons away from that chest uh which i do think has the best opportunity for a ga chopper gas tank in it and in addition to some freaking fantastic gear 
that will be really really nice so i am again very much looking forward to hopefully getting the opportunity to open that up very soon and we will make sure we will make absolutely sure we share that on the channel when we get to that point because that could be a momentous momentous occasion for us all right we're just trying to organize the best we can but our organization we are filling up some boxes here which is pretty cool the chopper tire there three additional glocks which is nice oh and we can't even set the armor away we'll set this over here just for the time being okay let's take a look here well i'll do this after let's open the blueprints say so let's look at what we got but all right, first three are extremely rare. Those ones are not. All right, just wanted to check. That's all she wrote. Let's open these ones first. A handmade silencer. Or the zip gun, or whatever it's called. Saw blade mace, the persuader. That's cool. An AK, the mechanical sight. Okay. Some of these might, we might have some option to actually build. All right. Here comes the very rare, extremely rare ones. Uzi, tactical upgrade. Okay. Okay. AK. No way. No way. Did we just get a grenade launcher? Oh my gosh. And then of course we get a tactical stock for the Winchester. This is a really good attachment actually. Um, I cannot believe. I cannot believe we just got an active skill mod, extremely rare blueprint for the AK. If we could get to the point where we could build this, this would be so huge. Like the applications of this are wild because we could use this with a ton of really, really positive effect in things like, obviously things like the bunker, we could just kind of kite a bunch of zombies together and hit them with this, save a ton of weapon durability. Um, Blackport PD doing some waves with this thing would be amazing as well. If you don't know when you use these things, they do use up durability, but obviously this has the potential to just do wildly successful damage um i don't even know if i have this on my other on my main account honestly i have to look i'm pretty sure i have the bayonet i don't think i have the grenade launcher this is like one of the most sought after active weapon mods in the game i this account is just flabbergasting me with the luck that we have had on some of these things. Our first farm chest has an active mod for the freaking uh, machete here. And now we just followed it up with a extremely rare weapon active mod in the grenade launcher. Like I just want to almost dump everything we have into this. Um, the, the tough, the biggest, the biggest grind for us is going to be factory parts. And obviously carbon composite. Both of these things are not, not easy for us to come across. Um, that is so huge. That's crazy. That's crazy. The goal now is to get this assembled. 1000%. We will be dumping a ton of resources into this. Um, just to get it done. Because every AK we could equip with this will just be so good. All right, let's see what else we got. So we do have the grip for uh, the M16. This would be another really, really good one for us to get uh, installed. This is one of the better. This is actually the the magazine mod that I run uh, on my standard uh, M16 builds on our main account. 
um, just because the extra crit chance, speed, and stability uh, makes these M16s way, way more effective. So that is really, really cool. Uh, we got the extended mag for the VSS. Nothing for the SCAR yet. This mechanical sight, extra crit chance, honestly is not bad. Um, it takes 36 springs, so this isn't something and and eight aluminum plates, so that's a little bit tough to pull, as well as lenses, even though it doesn't have lenses because it's a mechanical sight. Um, so this wouldn't be something I'm going to worry about too much, but maybe as we get you know, squared away on some supplies, we'll dump some stuff into that. Um, nothing for the shotgun yet. This tactical Scott stock, extra damage, but the durability boost for these is really, really huge. Um, this would be something if we had a bunch of Winchesters would be really kind of actually worth pushing for just a little bit, although this gun is pretty meh. Um, this is a really, really good one. It's the best stock uh, actually in the game when you come to take a look at it. So uh, mostly because you get the damage boost, but the durability bonus is huge so we have this ergonomic grip uh crit chance minus durability stability this one is way way better <laughs> we've got some really really good mods already um that would make these weapons so much better extra damage the crit chance and damage is huge and the extra range for the uzi is wild we need some pistol modifications be really nice because that's the gun we're going to see very very frequently um and then we do have a handmade silencer this isn't bad i hate that it's so many springs um but the rest of this stuff outside again of adhesive that we are trying to really grind up is pretty good but let's take a look at this persuader extra damage extra durability extra crit chance huge minus on speed i'm actually okay with this i mean i i actually am okay with this and here's why this is a weapon that we use very specifically for uh cold weapon damage crit chance sneak attacks right so extra durability and extra damage on these things is worth the speed sacrifice because 90 percent of the hits we do with this are going to be where the speed doesn't matter um i could basically put this together right now outside of the truck saw blades but we're dumping these in immediately we need to keep our eye out for the other eight of these um i don't want to use the steel plate just yet or the bolts or the wrenches um i don't know if we have any saw blade bases we're going to break down i want to be careful about that but i will throw those in here if we do um this is nice that's a good that's a good uh, upgrade here this would be cool tons of factory parts though uh, but this oak candle okay Minus taking four, 24 oak uh, and a lot of adhesive. The rest of this stuff, I don't really mind. And extra durability on these would be pretty good. That'd be dope. Obviously, we need to look towards getting the gut hook blade. Um, we'll see what we can do from that perspective. This would be really nice to get going. This isn't a terrible, terrible upgrade uh, in terms of supplies required, except for carbon composite. We really should work towards this um but honestly we need extra damage with this bat for it to make a ton of sense um and we've gotten some good upgrades here on our uh on our what do you call it on our spears here these have actually become much much better so um really good i'm actually really stoked for some weapon modifications i'm very very happy about this this was this was fantastic really good luck really 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 good luck so we're finishing it up we've got the season complete again very happy with our progress there we're winded down here on the last bit of supplies we're getting another glock in and probably worthwhile for me to show you here's what supplies we're sitting on now which is pretty cool we'll just go by weapons look at all the weapons we got we got a nice stock look at it. three can you imagine three ak's with grenade launchers on them sick some shotguns got some colts again we got some pr we are starting to stack up a nice little bit of uh of loot here for us to take advantage of uh tools wise we do have one c4 which is pretty cool equipment we got a couple of sets of tactical and a couple of sets of swat body armor and uh we almost have a full raider set 
couple extra backpacks, some good reinforce. We've got a Kevlar set and a first set. So we've got plenty of stuff to do there. Lots of good resources, 13 steel plates, some aluminum bars, actually some titanium bars is pretty dope. Some rubber, that is pretty cool. Spare parts wise, we're doing really good in this perspective. I don't have any, I do have 10 carbon composite and 10 factory parts. Oh my gosh. Grenade launcher, here we come. Oh, that's huge. So huge. Good consumables too. Take these before they go away. Really nice. We're really stocking up some gear here. I'm very excited about that. What did I miss? Packs, we don't have any packs. We got one furniture. We do have some cards here. Uh, so Blackport PD, a run there really quick is going to be in our future. At least turn in another blue card probably. That's some military notebooks when we head back to the bunker. Uh, we'll be sure to take a look at those. I should take and, and upgrade this husky puppy. Why would I not do that? And same thing with the shepherd puppy. I should do both of these. We like dogs here. I'm a big fan of the dogs. And getting that level 3 puppy leveled up would be huge for us. So... Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much. I'm going to flash some socials. Like, comment, subscribe. Links in the description. Go check out our main account. Give us some love over there if you enjoy these series. Uh, play a lot of Escape from Tarkov, some PC games. So give that, uh, give that a shout. We appreciate that. We want to grow both these channels. And we just really do appreciate all the support. Likes, comments, all that stuff is super, super helpful. The series has been an absolute freaking blast to make. And we just keep hitting some of these awesome, awesome moments like that. Um, so I'm very, very excited for a new season, hopefully some new content, but honestly, I just want to get this chopper built. Um, so we'll be jumping back over to do that. We're going to hit some other locations in the meantime and continue to grind up. We're going to continue to make some progress, continue to level up as well, and, uh, really see where we can take this whole series and this next couple of episodes as well. Very, very excited for it. So thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping in. I've been doc average camera guys. As always, thanks for watching. Happy new season to you. And uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.